So today I'm going to be reviewing the DC Multiverse Blue Beetle movie figure, and this is the battle mode version. So we'll take a quick look at the packaging here. So here on the front, through the plastic, you can see the figure, and this one comes with the wings and some hands and stuff. And then the Blue Beetle logo at the bottom just says Blue Beetle on the side here. Some cool artwork here on the back that we also get in the card. And then DC Multiverse on the side here. Not much on the top, just another Blue Beetle logo, barcode and stuff on the bottom. All right, so now let's get him open and check him out. We should hang out, we're like the same age. Okay, I'm gonna play. So here is what he looks like out of the packaging. And I did put a link to this figure in the description of this video. So if you decide to pick him up, you can click on that and get you one. All right, so he comes with the two wings here four extra hands and then we got the DC stand here and the blue beetle card so we'll go ahead and get a closer look at the figure so here's a closer look at the head there looks pretty good I like the paint apps as far as the shiny blue there looks good and then the eyes look pretty good look like they do in the movie and if you haven't seen the movie it's actually pretty good then we'll look at the rest I like the texturing here Nice paint apps. I really like that that shiny blue color. Really looks good in there. I like some of this design in here. I really like the blue beetle suit design. Looks pretty cool. We got a little more paint apps down and through here. Looks pretty good. Got the legs here. I like that texturing right in here. On the leg there looks pretty good. And then here on the back, we've got the Blue Beetle Dill Scarab. It's in his back. And you can see where it goes up his spine there. It's pretty cool. has some pretty good details on it. So this just pops off here. It's pretty difficult to get off there. There we go. So it just pops off like that. And then the wings hook right in the here. So I'll show you that real quick. So we'll hook like right there oh that's upside down there you go a quick look at the wings here while we have them here I like all the textured and the sort of um, hexagons and stuff they have on there it looks pretty cool check out the other one here minor paint issue right there but it's not too bad all right, so now we'll put that back on there. So, and then you just snap that back in there. Urr, urr, urr. There we go. <laughs> and I like that it actually is pretty snug in there so that the wings don't move a whole lot if you don't want them to. As um, far as these, I did have to sort of bend them down to the sides a little bit because they're too far above his head. So I had to bend those a little bit, but it looks pretty cool with those on there. Check out the back like that. Pretty good. And then I'll give you a quick look at some of the other hands here. So right here, we've got just like the pointer finger hand, the open hand, and these are the other two hands. So we got sort of the peace hand here. And just the thumbs up hand. If you want to see the card there, there's a closer look at the card. Blue Beetle. And the description on the back there. So here's what he looks like next to the Shazam Fury of the Gods figure. And it looks pretty cool. And that way you can sort of see him on a flight stand like he's flying. Looks pretty cool there. Um, one thing that does frustrate me is the fact that they did two different versions of the Blue Beetle. So they had this one, which is like the battle mode, and then the other one, which has like the um, arm cannons and stuff. And it's frustrating that they do like two separate ones instead of just doing like a deluxe where it has everything in it. Um, so I had to pick between the two because uh, I wasn't going to buy both of them. But I think I made the right choice in buying this one so that I can see him flying. And it has the little um, hooks. I don't know what those are called. But 
Um, the other one doesn't have these little dills, which is weird, but yeah, that's one of my main complaints. And DC uh, Multiverse figures tend to do that quite a bit. But yeah, that's my main complaint with this figure. Well, it's not really, I guess it's sort of with this figure or just with like DC Multiverse in, in general. Uh, but this figure actually looks pretty cool. Um, there's a few little things like I was noticing when I was moving the arms, these shoulder pad dills have like a loose plastic so they get sort of stuck when you move them up but they do bend a little bit so you can sort of pull them over this part and then also the ankle joints look sort of weird when you point them down or adjust them down they look sort of weird sticking sticking out right there okay so for his articulation his head can move down just a little bit and up a little bit it's not too bad if you want him flying or something you can do that uh, a little bit of head pivot there or head tilt and arms go up about that far and then we have the bicep swivel up here and then these joints in here I guess it's sort of like a butterfly joint um, double jointed elbows there then we got the single joint wrist still and the hands just pop on there and the hands are pretty loose so they pop off pretty easily um we got like a double double jointed app crunch in here so we have like the diaphragm cut i guess and then the ab crunch so he can go forward mm, a little bit he can go back quite a ways like crazy amount which is good for having like a flight pose or something like that he can kick forward about that far back quite a bit and double jointed knees there not too bad and then we have the ankle joints which are just they look sort of weird sticking out when they go down like that and they go up pretty far though and we don't want to get any rotation side to side then we do have the toe joint right here oh and for the wings you can't adjust them but when you adjust them up it's weird because like see how these just sort of collide and it looks weird and you can adjust them all the way down but even all the way that's as far as they go down and these are still sort of in the way and i have to bend them to the side a little bit because they start getting too close to his head so overall i like this figure quite a bit um blue beetle i watched the movie and it was a pretty good movie so and i like the character and the suit design and everything's pretty cool. I would have liked to have like some arm cannons with this one. Would have been cool. Um, Cause I don't, I don't want to have to buy two versions of them. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of DC multiverse figures, but I do buy a few. Um, some of my more favorite characters. This one's pretty cool. So, um, and once again, I did put a link to this figure in the description of this video. So if you decide to pick them up, you can click on that and get you one um so thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day